Kung nakikinig kayo ngayon, mga Chinese, galit na kami. To tell you frankly, we are, we are mad. Para matawan sila kasi kung hindi, eh talagang mawawala na pati palawan, baka kuha na nila. I want them to hear it. That's But why Mr. I am making Mr. my President, voice loud and clear. Mr. President, I'm not saying it's a bully. Bawal ang bully. Kung sino ang matamaan, silang masaktan. Mr. President, yung nakita ko nating video, kung hindi magngangalit ang mga Pilipino dun sa video na yon, baka hindi na tayo Pilipino. Para sa isang bully, we should speak the language that they can understand. Hindi dapat tayo pumayag. Taas noo at buong puso tayong maninindigan. Atin ang Pilipinas. Dapat nating ipaglaban ito. Ang mamatay ng dahil sa iyo. Nakikita po natin, Mr. President. Hihila po ng... Hihila na hihila po sa likod yung, yung debris. Oh! an actual footage, Mr. President, of that incident last, last month, Mr. President. The China boat, as I've said, came within 20 to 30 yards of the Philippine rubber boat and forcibly cut the topping line of the space debris. You see how dangerous the incident was, Mr. President. Baka rubber boat lang po tayo. Ang lalaki ng kanilang mga pagkawin mga tao natin. Mr. President, Chinese diplomats denied that the incident occurred. They denied that the incident occurred, claiming that a friendly consultation took place. But the footage and reports clearly show that CCG assertively took the debris in the area well within the Philippine territory. The Department of Foreign Affairs, again, some officials are here, issued a note verbal to China to clarify the matter as the incident was highly provocative. These actions, along with the, with the other gray zone activities, are slowly but surely eroding Philippine sovereignty in the West Philippine Sea and harming the country's strategic position. Mr. President, yan po ay isang larawan ng no space debris. Mr. President, my colleagues, this is not the first time that Chinese rocket debris has fallen within Philippine territory or territorial waters. On October 6 and November 7 this year, similar rocket debris were recovered in Kalintaan, Occidental, Mindoro, and Buswanga, Palawan. Even earlier, Mr. President, in July 2022, Chinese rocket debris was also recovered off Occidental, Mindoro. This, this debris, as shown in the picture, fell in Philippine archipelagic waters of Palawan and Mindoro Occidental, and within the Pagasa Islands Territorial Sea, where Clay One is located. Significantly, the Chinese Coast Guard retrieval of the debris of Clay One is a gross violation of Philippine sovereignty, as Beijing has no jurisdiction over Philippine Territorial Sea. Further, CCG's interference in the retrieval also violated the right of innocent passage under the 1982 UNCLOS. Yet another incident in a long and sustained record of repeated violations of international law. Lastly, China's actions demonstrate that Beijing does not recognize the 2016 arbitral award which establishes a 12 nautical mile territorial sea in the Pagasa Islands. The rocket debris retrieved bear the markings of China's Long March 5B rocket. I'm showing the picture right now. Incontrovertible proof of the provenance of the remains recovered in Occidental, Mindoro, Palawan, and in the Pagasa Islands. China acceded to the 1967 Outer Space Treaty, and Beijing must request the return of space debris which fall in the territory of other states like the Philippines, like Pagasa Islands in the Philippine case, rather than merely seizing the same. These repeated violations, Mr. Senate President, 
my dear colleagues, is a breach of Philippine territorial integrity and the irresponsible rocket launches are scattering debris that can threaten Filipinos who are plying the West Philippine Sea and our archipelagic waters. These incidents cannot be allowed to continue as they not only can potentially harm Filipino fishermen, but the Chinese Coast Guard actions also violate Philippine maritime rights as enshrined in the UNCLOS and the arbitral ruling award, Mr. President. In this, Mr. Senate President, my dear colleagues, we are on the right side of international law. And gross violations like this cannot be allowed and should not be allowed to continue. Before I end this speech, Mr. President, let me stress that this is high, this, it is high time that the government prioritizes South China Sea, West Philippine Sea, as the Philippines has become the laggard among the claimants, a status that threatens not only the country's sovereignty, but also the livelihoods of thousands of Filipino fishermen and the nation's energy and food security. I would like to suggest that uh, if we are going to make our sense of the Senate expressing our disgust over this incident, can we make it diplomatic at the same time forceful? Yes. Uh, para naman, uh, kung nakikinig yung mga Chinese ngayon, uh, we are we are uh, we are disgusted. We are, we are disgusted and we are offended by what you are doing to our uh, to our uh, troops uh, in the West Philippine Sea. Uh, we we should uh, express that to them, Mr. President. Pal palagay natin hindi tayo pakinggan. Who are we? Pakinggan ba tayo ng China na napakalakas nila? But sana as a as a body, itong Senado ay magpalabas tayo ng sense of the Senate para malaman natin mga kababayan na ang Senado natin ay galit na sa ginagawa na pambubuli nitong uh, mga tao na ito sa ating mga kababayan. Uh, hindi na po, na, sige lang tayo nagtitimpi porque maliit tayo. Uh, we, we, we don't want, uh, we don't want uh, war to happen. Ayaw natin maging war prick tayo pero gusto lang natin talaga ipakita sa kanila, iparamdam sa ating mga kababayan na tayo punong-puno na sa pambubuli na ginagawa nitong mga Chinese na ito. So, kung nakikinig kayo ngayon, mga Chinese, galit na kami. To tell you frankly, we are, we are mad with what you are uh, doing to our troops. Uh, the simple uh, bullying, I tell you, the simple bullying and the uh, we cannot tolerate that act to, to happen again. I hope uh, you're listening. Yeah, I know you're listening right now. Listen to me. Listen to me. We are mad at you with what you're doing. Uh, we want to make it more diplomatic at the same time forceful para pakinggan ninyo kami. Uh, yes. Respetuhan tayo dito. In fact, Mr. President, nabanggit naman ni Senator Tolentino yung uh, our initial talks with the Vietnam uh, National Assembly, the, the President of National Assembly of Vietnam, when we talk about the bullying in the West Philippine Sea, which they also are uh, experiencing. And uh, they told us that they want to, to join uh, forces with us uh, to show to the world that uh, we don't deserve all this uh, bullying that uh, is happening to in the West Philippine Sea. Uh, yun lang pag-usapan namin initially, Mr. President. So yes. sabi ko, yeah, we, we have to we have to cooperate. Uh, tayo malilit. Uh, we have to cooperate so that uh, uh, the, the whole world will listen to us. That uh, enough is enough with this bullying uh, uh, incidents. Uh, that's it, Mr. President. I salute, and, I salute you, Senator Bato de la Rosa. And it will, so it's been said, so it shall be done. We Thank will you, make Mr. a Peter. resolution, a numbered resolution that will express the sense of the Senate on our disgust in what we have seen today, in what has transpired most recently in the West Philippine Sea. Tama yun. Puno -puno na po tayo. I think uh, time for diplomacy sometimes is uh, uh, should be put aside, and we should show our sincere anger and disgust on this, particularly this incident. Para matawan sila, kasi ko hindi. Eh, talagang mawawala na, pati Palawan, baka kuha na nila. Baka kunin na nila yung Palawan. Yeah, Mr. Palapit President, sila ng palapit sa atin. Isipin mo lang yung pinihila na 
sa teritoryo natin, hinihila na lang trupa natin yung na-recover nila na bagay na yon. Rega regardless kung pinag ang may-ari noon Chinese, but it is within our territory, dapat nirespeto nila tayo. Eh parang ganun na lang ba tayo na ikakat yung uh, yung yung ruta ng ating uh, trupa doon porque maliit lang yung ating uh, rubber boats putulin putulin lang yung at agawin at uh, sa para sa akin para ako sinampal kaliwa kanan doon sa yung masama pa ng mga yan, mga inchik na yun yung masama pa niyan yung owners ah. ay sinabi pa ng Chinese embassy and i've been there done that Sinabi ng Chinese Embassy, hindi po nangyari yun. Oo, oh, Mr. President. <laughs> Kaya na nangyari sa akin, na nangyari naman. I was not dreaming when it happened. And so now, that it was forcibly taken away from us. This uh, debris that fell into Philippine waters. Bago magka-high blood yung lahat dito, Mr. President, uh, tama na, uh, marami <laughs> salamat. Uh, high blood Mr. President. What is it yet, Mr. President, can we do to help our country to assert our sovereignty and our ownership of the territory that these neighbors in Asia are, are, are violating repeatedly. And um, how else can we help fisher folks, uh, families and communities who live in coastal areas? And um, the video that was shown by the good gentleman from Cavite has clearly shown how inferior we are in terms of equipment, a rubber boat, as compared to the uh, boats that were uh, featured in that video. May this representation, Mr. President, know from the good senator from Cavite, as a national security administrator myself, how else can we help the Philippine Navy the fisher folks, not just in Palawan, in all coastal areas, and every Filipino living today and in the future, because <coughs> as you yourself have said, the effective implementation of the Hague ruling is our duty. And it is the least we could do for the next generation of Filipinos. Back to my question, Mr. President, may I know as an Air Force officer and someone who loves our country deeply, may I know how else can we help the Navy? How else can we help our country? Aside from the note verbal, aside from privileged speeches, ano pa po ang kailangan natin gawin para tigilan ng ating kaibigan na malaking bansa sa Asia ang kanilang pang-aabuso at hindi pagsunod sa isang maliwanag na ruling na dapat nilang respetuhin. Bawal ang bully sa mundo. Mr. President. Si President, uh, I'm, I'm aware that the other side is listening. But I want them to hear it. That's why I am Mr. making Mr. my President, voice loud and clear. Mr. President, I'm not saying it's a bully. Bawal ang bully. Kung sino ang matamaan, silang masaktan. Mr. President, I recall that a month ago, we had visitors from Vietnam. We were there. We welcomed them. I think, Mr. President, part of my speech is to solidify and strengthen our strategic alliances. Mr. President, being an honorable member of the international community, we honor our obligations and agreements we followed the terms of the UNCLOS, believing in its terms and in the protection that it would be provided. But the actions of these nationals have shown disrespect of the terms of the UNCLOS and the arbitral award. Taking a stand for our waters is crucial because if we let go of these brazen acts in the West Philippine Sea, we open all our waters to breach because we show that we allow it what will stop this nation or other nations from disrespecting our rights under international law on all our waters from the north, east, or south. Manindigan na po dapat tayo. Ang ating katubigan ay buhay at kabuhayan 
para sa ating mga kababayan. Ito ay pinagkukunan natin ng likas na yaman. Let us explore, utilize, and maximize our water resources, and we can use these funds to provide protection for our waters. Para sa akin po, para sa isang bully, we should speak the language that they can understand, and that language that is we have to stand up. And how we're going to do that, we have to modernize our military. It's about time, Mr. President. Thank you. Salamat po. I'd, I'd like to put on record what the dictionary is saying about bullying. Bully is a noun, a blustering, mean, or predatory person who, from a perceived position of relative power, intimidates, abuses, harasses, or coerces people, especially those considered unlikely to defend themselves. Mr. President, yung nakita ho nating video, kung hindi magngangalit ang mga Pilipino dun sa video na yon, baka hindi na tayo Pilipino, Mr. President. I would just like to put on record, Mr. President, kahit saang lupalop ng daigdig ka magpunta, bullying po yun. Nakakasama po ng loob na ididinay pa po ng uh, embahada ng China na ito ay hindi nangyari. Mr. President, our sovereignty or territorial integrity, this is priceless. We have to fight for it. And this is even our sworn duty as public officials to fight for our territorial integrity and protect our sovereignty at all cost. Tama po kayo, Mr. President, baka magising tayo isang araw yung Palawan ay eh, katabi na ng mga islang kanila pong itinatayo. So, Mr. President, pinigilan na ako ni Senator Alan noon kasi we have to keep our um, menu of the Horizon 2 and Horizon 3 of the AFP and DND, yung po mga nais natin bilhin. Pero ako, ito lang yung wish list ko para malaman nila, hindi tayo pwede-pwedeng ibuli. We will have anti-aircraft missiles put at around surface-to-surface -surface missiles, surface-to-air, para hindi nila basta-basta tayo papasukin ng kailang aircraft uh, intrusions um, uh, by air. Dapat malaman nila magkaroon tayo nito, hindi sila makakapasok. Magdadalawang isip sila. I will order also, ako lang ito, F-16s, F-35s, to serve as a deterrent. And I would like to thank our Senate President. If you remember, for the... For the information of our colleagues. During our um, parliamentary visit to France, before the official visit, the, uh, we went to Normandy, which was um, four hours away, and then went to uh, the naval group to look at the, 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 where the, the submarines are being manufactured, went to the nuclear power plants. Kami dalawa ni Senate President, we left at 8 a.m. in the morning and went back at 2 a.m. So I'm proud to have a Senate President and a Senate that is standing to protect our sovereignty and territorial integrity. Ganun po, para malaman ng honor men in uniform. Si Senate President mismo, actual, pumunta doon sa mismo sa naval group. Alas 8 na umaga, bumalik kami. Alas 2 ng umaga. We are there. Really, ang concern natin is to how to protect our territories. Kaya, Mr. President, uh, I'm hoping that Again, we need to beef up already, and uh, I'm quite proud that in the Senate we tried to restore the budget that was cut in the age gap on the AFP modernization because this is already a clear and present danger. Hindi na ito kala, uh, hindi na to pwede baliwalain. If you saw the new pictures, the recent, the most recent pictures of uh, the disputed islands, a full-blown ano na military bases na and dami na. It's like a city already. Baka magising tayo pag pinabayaan pa natin to. If we continue to become a laggard, baka mamaya po yung palawan nga ay ma-annex na niya. So again, I'm quite proud that we have a Senate that is really fighting for our sovereignty. So again, next year, maging makulit man tayo. Ulit-ulit ko, dadagdagan natin ang modernization so that we will have the minimum defense posture that China will respect. Papaalam ko sa kanila, magkakaroon tayong magagandang ano, maliliit man, pero hindi na makikita, matatakot sila na pumasok dito. Senator Bong Revillas. Thank you, Mr. President. I would like to associate myself with a gentleman from Cavite's, Cavite's uh, pronouncement, Senator Tolentino, 
at narinig ko rin ang, uh, ang tinig ng ating mga kasamang senador na talaga naman nakakapanginig ng laman, ginawang Pangulo. Sa panahong ito na mas higit at mas masidhi nating dinadama at binibigkas ang lupang hinirang. Lupang hinirang, duyan ka ng magiting sa manlulupig, di ka pasisiil. Our country is so beautiful and rich in natural resources. Utang natin sa inang bayan ang mga tinatamasa natin ngayon. Kaya naman nararapat lamang na ipagtanggol at proteksyonan natin ang bawat sulok ng ating bansa, ginoong Pangulo. Tayo'y mga Pilipino, kilalang matatapang, hindi tayo titiklok, lalo na sa mga panahong ito na sarili natin mga kababayan ang ginikipit, inaalipusta sa sarili nating bansa. Kabitanyan. Mga kababayan, Kabitanyan. hindi tayo papayag, hindi dapat tayo pumayag. Taas noo, at buong puso tayong maninindigan, atin ang Pilipinas, dapat nating ipaglaban ito, ang mamatay ng dahil sa iyo. Maraming salamat, Ginoong Pangulo. Yan ang totoong kabitenyo. Gentlemen and ladies, matapang at uh, mahalang Mr. bayan. President